G'day guys, happy Festivus. Uh, hope we're well. Uh, this is just a real quick catch up here. Um, I've, uh, I'm celebrating my second birthday, as it were. It was uh, two years ago, sort of Christmas Eve, I think it was. I dropped my first video, uh, which was the, the first project, the CB125 little Honda. Uh, since then, I've done the KTM Motard as well. Uh, and, yeah, gone for a couple of rides, track day, bit of dirt. Uh, and I suppose you could coin 2021, the second year of my YouTubing life, as the year of the e-bike. This thing has just been such a joyous revelation to me. I, uh, I genuinely am surprised as to how enthusiastic I am about wanting to ride it and want to spend time on it. And now I've even had the few, t few, uh, few moments of guilt where it's a sunny weekend and you plan on going out to the, to the single trail and you're like, man, <laughs> go burn some fuel, you know, <laughs> get on the big girl. Um, so it's, trust me, I still thoroughly enjoy that. Uh, as a, a catch up also to, I, I did have a track day planned. I was getting the old Suzuki GSX-R 750 um, ready for a track day. And then uh, strangely enough, it wasn't COVID that screwed me. It was uh, weather. There was a massive uh, rain system that rolled through the area and uh, canceled the day. Damaged the track too, I heard. Hopefully they've repaired that. They've had track days at there since. So obviously they didn't, it didn't hurt the track that bad. But um, yeah, that was, um, let's just put a pin in that track day, shall we? They, I've seen the calendar and they've got some track days at the end of January, start of Feb. So uh, obviously I've got a credit for a track day and I'm gonna call that in in a few weeks time. But uh, it wasn't before I, you know, already poured a couple of hundreds of dollars into the bike, uh, got it out of the living room where it lives, of course, the track bike, uh, and realised that uh, front brake pads were not shot, but you know, for a track bike, uh, gone. So yeah, it was new pads, uh, it was a new rear slick tyre as well, the mandatory oil change. Um, but yeah, so the bike is poised and ready to go for a couple of weeks time. So I'll happily share the track day with you guys as well. Um, but yeah, back to the, the Elon Musk mountain bike. <laughs> the, uh, oh, it's, I'm really finding it hard to articulate what it's like to ride that. It's, um, it's 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 a new game, huh? Um, it is. It it looks like a mountain bike. When you throw your leg over it and you look down, you go, "Yeah, this is a mountain bike." Uh, and then you you bomb through a turn, whether it's uphill or downhill, <laughs> you can bomb through both. Uh, the mechanical grip that it's got is not like a mountain bike at all. Nowhere near it. Um, there's obviously some, you know, just in the cycling sense, the, the bigger wheels, the, the plusher suspension than what I did ride, you know, back in the day when I was a downhill mountain biker. Um, there's been evolutionary steps there just in the cycle itself, but um, nothing like what sits in between those cranks. That wee little Shimano EP8 motor, um, it is it is unbelievable and what it uh, the doors that it opens because of this little thing there uh uphill flow it's a genuine thing it's that's like fresh frozen isn't it army intelligence uphill flow what the hell here to tell you uh, I subscribe to uphill flow uh, I love uphill flow uphill flow makes me get up at uh, 4.30 in the morning on a Saturday so I can hit the trails by bloody 10 past five, you know. Uphill flow, yeah, you can pop and jib and mm, jump off stuff and have fun uphill. It, what? <laughs> what? 
uh, yeah, well, yeah, back to the mechanical grip that it has. Because of its weight and its inertia, it doesn't act like a mountain bike when you're going through a corner. Um, it hasn't got that, ooh, that skatiness to it. Um, yeah, back in the days, downhilling, I would uh, always do, still do today, ride with flat pedals, right? I do not clip in. I don't like the idea of being clipped in. So back in the downhill days, I can remember constantly always taking off my inside foot when you're going around a corner. A little bit of a drift happening, but the inside foot was commonly off the pedal through a corner. I reckon I can count on one hand how many times my inside foot has had to come off of that pedal. Um, you just hook up both feet, the weight, the inertia, the suspension, the wheel rotation, it's uh, everything just makes for grip. Uh, and uh, it's such a joyous thing. You can, like I said, flow. It's all about flow, isn't it? That's what we're chasing. And you can chase flow up a hill. Uh, then, of course, gravity does its work so well on the downhills because of its weight and its inertia. Um, yeah, it's like I, uh, I've been sh not struggling, but I've been conscious of not wanting to turn just a ride into an e-bike channel because it's not. It's this is a this is a garage channel, um, and these things live in my garage. But also, so does the e-bike. It has its its own merits and its own worth i think um it's you know just a ride as me sharing what the hell i do in my garage like i said that's i'm what i'm trying to say is um you may see a little bit more e-mountain bikes uh in the in the months coming forward uh just quietly too i have a loosely penciled in a plan obviously not, not using biros during the COVID era are we uh penciled in a trip to nz to new zealand um, with that being, obviously, that's travelling. I'm travelling with that minus the battery because apparently you can't fly uh, commercial flights with these um, lithium batteries, whatever. Um, but I can rent one. I know that for a fact. So that bike is going to the South Island of New Zealand in the months to come with me. Uh, got a good mate there who also has an e-bike. Yeah, boy. Um and I know for a fact that there is world-class trails uh, just outside of Queenstown and in Queenstown and the whole, you know, South Island. Um, so that's that's on the cards as well. So, yeah. Um, thanks for your patience here, guys. Like I said, just a quick little catch-up as to sort of, uh, you know, a few little uh, housekeeping. Second birthday. Yeah. Uh E-bikes rule, yeah! <laughs> and uh, yeah, getting ready for 2022. Go and kick it in the dick, guys. Have a good one. Be safe and be happy.